Let's talk about the really exciting new updates in Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform for model-driven apps. I'm in a trial environment. I spin up trial environments a lot just to play around with features or to record videos like this without using real system data. And when I spun up my most recent demo about a week and a half ago, I noticed the model-driven app designer is completely different. So fear not, awesome CRMers. I'm going to walk through all of these changes one at a time. We'll take a look at what it used to be like and how you do it now because it is a lot different than what we're used to. So the old way. We lived in the app designer. We lived in the site map. What you're seeing in this screenshot here is their blank canvas to building your model driven app, right? This is how we all know and love and are comfortable with working with model driven apps. Well, it's entirely new. So we have these app designer areas, the sitemap, dashboards, components, and properties, and that's completely different now. So if you're still Dynamics 365 on-premise, you're gonna use what you see here. But if you are Dynamics 365 online and utilizing Power Apps to manage your model-driven apps, let's show you how you will start going with a model-driven app over there. I'm in a solution file already in Power Apps. And just like before, I'm gonna go to New App and Model-Driven App. Now I get to select my creating experience. So you can use classic app designer if you're more comfortable, but I wanna show you the modern app designer, which is really going to be more of a building experience. You'll pull in different blocks. It shows you what it looks like. So the first thing we have to do is name it. So we'll do inside sales and you can add a description and then click create. Now, instead of diving right into a site map and defining what tables, which dashboards, which assets that my users are going to be able to access, you're gonna see something completely different. So on the left-hand side, there are going to be new icons here that you haven't seen before. Um, so this is your main menu. Underneath, it's taking me to pages, which where, is where we are now. Below that is my navigation, and below that is my data. So here's our blank canvas, and I can start by just clicking New Page. It's gonna ask me if I want views and forms from a table or a dashboard, so you would select the appropriate one. Click Next and kind of walk through the wizard here. So this is essentially replacing our site map. So you can see it's um, auto-checking all of these tables to show up in my navigation pane of this app. So you can select whichever areas you want which is nice because I can come in here and start filtering through to, to try to jump through and different things. So my contact is here um, and you can search that way. But select all of the different tables, click add, um, and now they're here. So if I expand account, I can see account form and account view. So this is replacing what we would see down here with our blank canvas. These are kind of where you select your components and move things in. So I can click on account form um, and right from this spot, I get a preview of which form it is, which is nice. It'll tell me by default, no forms have been selected, all forms are available. I can click manage forms and then I can start to select anything that I want on here. So if I want to use this form um, and the account form, I can click save. And now it's just gonna show me these two. If you want to check out what others are to see if you need to, I love that you get a preview of it immediately um, because I have forgotten which forms to use sometimes in some of the environments. So it's nice that it shows you right here and you'll have to toggle back to the end user experience to figure out which form you want. Now I can click on the views and again, no views have been selected. I can see all of my system views right here. If I can't remember which ones I need to see, I can check it out. Click manage views. And then I'm just gonna select anything that I want included, click save, repeat this for everything else. You'll see it labeled my group as group one, um, which you probably will wanna change. And you can do that up here. Click on area one, group one, and now I can update this. So it's, it's very similar. It's the same things that you do, but so much easier. Isn't this exciting? It's all click, drag, configure. It's so much easier than it used to be. Not that it was ever too complicated, but this is really user friendly. So things that I love about this, previewing your data immediately while you're making your changes. So I can see 
All right, which ones did I do on activities? Um, and then I can make my changes on the fly. When I'm done, just like you did before, you're going to click Publish. And then you have the Play option too, which will show you exactly what that user experience will be like. But you do have the preview right in line here, so you can check it out. You can also see it's responsive. So it's very simple to change what this design would look like on different devices. So you get an awesome preview, again, while you're still in the canvas for building this. Um, I do want to show you one more thing. If I want to add additional areas, groups, and sub areas, I'm going to use this Add button. So this is where you would add your group, which again is like what we did here. It's going to give me a new group area, so you'll want to update that with like my work. And then I can click Add sub area underneath here. My content type again is going to be a table or a dashboard, so you can select what you're looking for. Actually, have activities already. Let's do appointment. All right, so let's grab an AI builder. Click Add, um, and then you'll start to see all of the additional information kind of pop in. And then this last one is going to give you kind of your information, so you can check out the data that's in here, um, in your app and in your environment. So there you have it, a very high level overview of the new model driven app designer experience. Again, it looks like this and it has some really cool features. Again, here's how we used to do it, how you can still do it if you're on premise or how you can still do it if you prefer this way. But the future is here. Enjoy.